today I'm going to talk about the family safety tool or app. Have you created a safe space for your kids to explore online? Have you created healthy boundaries to block inappropriate content? You will have to make sure a safe browsing. It is very important to monitor their screen time as well. So today I'm going to talk about the free parental monitoring app that helps you to keep your kid safe online. Microsoft.com slash Microsoft 365 Family Safety or just look for Microsoft Family Safety. So you will land into this page. So it will give you enough information which will help you to understand that which type of features are available. You can have an app also which will help you to control on monitor. So we'll be talking only about free. For free, you can limit the screen time. You can have the apps and games limit in case your kids has gone over limit. So they can request you to increase the screen time. App and game filters. You can have the web and search filters and content request. You can share the location. You can save the places, but location alerts will not be there. Microsoft Office 365 web applications are available online and then OneDrive 5 TB is available to every family member. You can sign up for free by clicking here. Once you sign up, you will have to create your kids accounts and then these kids account will need to sign in on their desktop. Simply go here to microsoft.com slash family. You can see here your family and it shows you all the family members here and their screen time is also visible. Suppose I want to go here. So daily average of screen time is one hour, six minutes. These are the frequent apps which he's using. He's using only his PC. I need to set the time limit so you can click here and reduce the time limit for every day. Suppose it is two hours every day. And only on Saturday the limit will be four hours. Rest of all days I can set it one by one. So you can lock the devices here if any device is there so you can see which devices are locked you can click here and lock the device so the user will not be able to log in and uh, if users are having multiple devices so you can see which devices are connected content filtering you can add and block the websites from here for example if i want to block the website from here so this website is now blocked here these are the sites which are visited. This site is now allowed. So earlier it was blocked. So I allowed it because kids are learning. But you can always see the content which kids are searching on this. So you can then specifically block the content which you want to block. And if you, they, if your kids are spending also online, so you can control their spending limit also if in case it is required. So this is one app. I'll show you another app also later in the other videos that how you can control if the kids are using google chrome so right now your kids must be using microsoft edge in order to control the browsing and uh, content so this is very simple and easy so if i go to home page of this of the family safety you can see here you can start adding more family members enter their mobile number or email address or you can create account on their behalf so i will recommend to create the account on their behalf from here and once you create the account then you can uh, simply allow them to log in so you can use this through your app also in app you will just search for uh, family safety by microsoft so you will be able to download app app is having more control in next tutorial i'll show you how the app can be used this user uh, i will not be able to control the browsing history i will not be able to control the screen time this is only for kids so manage the consent or edit the profile picture or go to overview so from here you will be able to see the screen time and all of the details so hope this will help you to have a better and safe internet usage or digital usage of your children if you need any help any support give the feedback in the comment section below see you then take care and goodbye